Hi there, friends. One more great teaching about Passover. During the Seder, we're commanded to wash our hands not once, but twice. The first time near the beginning when we are about to dip a green vegetable into some salt water and to eat it. And there we wash our hands and we don't say a blessing. The reason we don't say a blessing is because we're about to eat something that constitutes just a snack. And so you don't say a full prayer before it. Therefore, you're not going to have to say grace after meals. So therefore, no hand washing. The second time is right before we're about to have the large meal. That time we say the blessing because immediately following, we say mozi before we eat the matzah. But something interesting about hand washing is we've all been washing our hands a good deal over these past few weeks, is that the idea of washing hands was act, uh, in a medical setting was actually promulgated by a man named a Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis. He was a German-Hungarian physician. He first proposed the idea of washing hands in 1847, and he was known as the savior of mothers as he discovered really a link between transmitted germs and high mortality rates in new mothers in labor and delivery. Before hand washing was instituted in May of 1847, the clinic's mortality rate was about 18%. By July, the rate had dropped to 1%. And one year later, the mortality rate was zero. So as we get to this point in the Seder, go wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and dry them well. And then, as the tradition says, don't utter a word until you said mozi and eaten that first taste of that matzah, that poor man's bread. We want to wish all of you from wherever you are a very, very happy Passover from all of us here at Community Synagogue of Rye. Chag Sameach. Go wash your hands.